Welcome to the video everyone. Today I'm going to take you into Manchester because I live one train ride away and I've actually never got taken you guys with me into Manchester. Also, there is the bee hunt that's going on at the moment. So there's these statues of bees and if you didn't know, the worker bee is like a symbol of Manchester and it became even more prevalent as a symbol when we, uh, we had that horrible incident where someone blew themselves up at um, Victoria Station at the MEN Arena. So without getting into that, I, uh, you know, it, it's become more of a symbol, even more so now. So they've set these statues all around Manchester and you can get an app on your phone and you have a code per B and then you put the code in and you can find all of the bees. There's loads of them and you get vouchers and stuff for finding them. So on this lovely Sunday, it's a beautiful day. I'm just here at my own private bar, but uh, you know, having all this wealth and all this knowledge, d d d what really matters is knowledge. You know, my, I have these Ferraris, but uh, these books, these books are what matter. If you don't want to know what that reference is, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, so I'm going to take you guys into Manchester with me. We're going to go and get some food, some waffles, and just uh, just see what vouchers we get from finding these awesome bees. <laughs> Organising groups to find as many bees as possible. We're going to have waffles so that we're fueled for our search, and then I'm going to do probably a B-roll section of us like finding bees and then talking and finding bees and then talking again because obviously we don't want this thing to be just boring me talking to the camera going look a bee we'll try and make it a bit more interesting but these guys are I'm just going to follow them yeah works better doesn't it yeah we'll just follow you Um, I don't know you. Look, I'm following you guys, aren't I? I'm following you. I don't know where we're going. Let's go find a bee. Wasn't there some? There's, there's another way. one near the other one that we already saw. Let's go get that one. Yeah. Let's go get that one. But you might. It might be in the window. To the wall. So as you can see, Manchester has had a symbol of a bee for a real long time and the reason why it's the worker bee is because of the industrial revolution and it's kind of continued since then. So it's, you know, a couple hundred years old and it's still going strong. So this, uh, this bee event thing that we're doing is just, I think it's really cool to keep the memory alive of it and also do it in a new, fun, different way with new technology, you know, using the app. You know, it gets you to see parts of Manchester you've probably never seen. So get into Manchester if you've not been. So at the moment, I've got a couple of discounts. If we go through them, I've got 10% off the NCP, which is car parks all over Manchester. And I've got a 10% discount offline from somewhere else. I've also got a free drink 
We've got a free drink from uh, Harvey Nichols uh, or a kid's mocktail, but I'm, I, you know, I'm not going to get a kid's mocktail, am I? So I'm going to get a free drink from there. So it's really beneficial to go out and do this, get the app. Yeah, it's two quid, but you're going to get some cool stuff out of it. So why not do it? I think it's, I think it's really cool, as I've said many times. Uh, we're now in the uh, square, the square, say Anne Square, it says on the wall there. And we found ourselves another bee. Another bee. This square we're in now is a square after the event happened at uh, MEN or the Manchester Arena or whatever it's called these days because it changes names so often. This is the square that was completely full of flowers. I'll try and find a picture online and put it up now. Um, the bee has become a symbol again because of the fact that we all banded together. We didn't just, you know, it, we came together as a city. Uh, money was raised, a ridiculous amount of money was raised. I raised uh, some, like I, I gave to it. I know Alex did. And not only that, but Alex actually has uh, a mosaic tattoo of a bee on the back of her neck. Don't need it on. So if I show that. A lot of tattooists at the time were doing like cheaper like prices on bees, yeah, weren't they? Free. And, and then donate Yeah, it was fifty pounds. It was fifty quid. Yeah, and then, fifty quid and then they donated that to the uh, yeah, to the big charity. So everyone, even little businesses, all helped out, and the bee was like the symbol and the driving force for it as well. And uh, just another reason why it's a symbol of our, my city. Yeah. Just gonna grab some water or something because we are so parched. Having a colostomy bag, you really need to be on top of getting hydrated because if you don't drink during the day when it's this warm, you're really gonna put yourself in jeopardy. Um, I need this. Oh, I'm struggling. Whoa. Oh my god. Doggo. Doggo, where? Doggo. So I got a free drink um, somewhere. I didn't really read it. And it was like, oh, a reward, and then we've moved on. But I keep getting these free drinks, like a hot drink or a coffee or a cold drink, and I've just went and bought a drink. So not the smartest move, but um, we're, we're at Parsonage Gardens, and we thought one would be in here, but be in here. Unfortunately, there isn't one. So we're just going to keep wandering around. Um, we did have a trail that we wrote out that you saw before, but kind of not sticking to it and just enjoying ourselves and enjoying the walk. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe because I'm going to try and do more vlogs, especially with this tiny camera, is really helpful. So, uh, yeah, like the video. Where's an NPC that one? I can park there for 10% off. So, we're on our way to Spinning Fields. Crazy Pedro's is probably one of the best beach places in Manchester. Absolutely love that place. Just wanted to give it a shout out while we walk past. But now we're going into spinning fields. Over there. Your food bill at the Oast House or a £5 B in the City cocktail between 23rd of the 7th and 14th of the 10th, 2018. And that is the Oast House, which was a temporary bar because they have temp like temporary bars that pop up during the summer and then disappear. But this bar was so popular they made it a permanent residence in Spinning uh, Spring. It is Spinning Fields. Spinning Fields. There's a permanent resident in Spinningfield, it's really cool. Springfield's in the Simpsons. So you have the bee on your neck as we showed before, but you're from Birmingham, so... Yeah. So, I got the bee tattoo because the day I moved up to Manchester, um, I was living with some friends while Joe got the house sorted out and I literally woke up the next day to the news of the Manchester bombing. So it was quite sort of poignant for me because that was the start of my life up in Manchester and then all that happened so it was quite sort of close to home because we just bought a house here, we were going to start a family here and you know. Yeah, now we have a cat family. Yeah, fuzzy. I really like the look of that building, I think that's going to be really cool. Yeah. The ivy. Yeah. 
brand new. I didn't even know that it was a thing. So, I mean, imagine sitting on the top. That's gonna be well cool. It reminds me of places in Leeds that I was at with that stag do. big industrial part of Manchester obviously almost all of Manchester is kind of industrial I was but I absolutely love this area it's really nice obviously drinking by the canals and uh, some really great bars here the radio stations are over there and uh, Manchester has such a huge variety of areas to it like most cities but I do believe think that it is the best city in the country obviously because it's my city but yeah what Nice. That's oh, proper heavy metal boat. Boats and hose. Yeah, so the search continues. Life of Malamute's me up. I completely forgot about this. I completely forgot about Life of Malamute's me up. If you don't know who the uh, Life of Malamute's is, they're a famous uh, Instagram page. They were at their wedding. And uh, Nico had like a little flower, flower collar and Bill like. had a bow tie and stuff. I'm sure I showed you. with you <laughs> I can't, I I can't believe I forgot <laughs> the attachment for the, is, that, is that good for you? So go for a drink in here <laughs> yeah I think so just came and sat down in the pub for a beer but I honestly do think a beer would probably be quite helpful right now because yeah. or anything liquidy yeah. I think I've drank mine. Elevate. Oh, Elevate. 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 Oh, we just met. The, oh. So we just met Life of Malamutes. If you don't know who that is, I'll link it down below. You must know who they are. Phil and Nico, are the dogs, big Malamutes. They also have Milo, who is a lovely cat. And uh, the owners of those dogs, Emma and Shane, actually spoke to me about YouTube because I have a very small, small following. If you've got to this part of the video, I really appreciate you and please give the video a like. But um, yeah, so, so nice and nicest people you could, you could ever meet. And he, uh, Shane stood there and he spoke to me about YouTube and how he was trying to grow it and how I could try and grow mine, uh, give me some tips and stuff. And uh, I want to take it on board because I want to spread more awareness about Crohn's and colitis. I want to show that there's, you know, there's nothing you can't do if you have an ileostomy bag. And uh, I hope that comes across in my videos. If you have some feedback to give me, I would love to hear it. But uh, to Life of Malamute guys, I really appreciate you. And uh, your dogs are amazing, you're amazing. And uh, the meetup was really cool. And uh, I can't believe I forgot about it. Uh, but it was a nice time and a nice way to end the uh, video. We're gonna try and find one more bee, but I'm gonna leave the video here because I feel like I've got like 100 to 200 clips of Manchester. So this video is going to be really long. So, like I said, 
like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. My mind is empty, I've been running out of views Ain't got the sparkle, I can't keep you amused I'm like a battery that's been trained in you I dream of you, and it's all I wanna do I dream of you, and it's all I wanna do I dream Reality sets in the minute I let my day begin, and you're gone.